So I just want to give people a quick um, update on a survey we've been running as part of the STRIDE project, which is um, socio-technical resilience in uh, software engineering, which is run with the Open University, Manchester University and Lancaster, and the SSI as a partner in this, and some of you may have taken part. So our survey was looking at RSE identity and experience, um, and some of the headline responses here are... Um, we had about 400 respondents um, around identity. So we asked people about whether they identify as an RSE, and we found that out of seven, uh, they did at a, on average about 5.6. Um, but we also found that they identified with domain as well. So both sort of socially as an RSE and socially in terms of their domain identification, both of these were equally important to them. Um, they also felt self-investment as an RSE. It made them good, you know, feel good to be um, an RSE. And also um, they found that they had things in common with other RSEs. So these things were all important to their identity. When we look at autonomy, um, we found that people had a great deal of autonomy uh, in, in terms of, you know, how they did their jobs, how they did their individual individual tasks um, and they had some um, or slightly less autonomy in terms of when to schedule those and, and when to do them and then in terms of the critical or strategic tasks so exactly what they were doing um, there was slightly less. Um, when we look at professional outcomes uh, we see that people were quite kind of positive about this in some ways uh, so we they, they felt they some degree of success uh, they found their job meaningful um, and they found that communication within their role was was reasonably good but they were less satisfied with career prospects so that was the main issue so the key thing here is we've got about 50 50 academic and professional RSEs. So the next step for us is to do the comparison of the two and see whether these things vary as a result of where they are working. 